No effort at the beginning this time, because last time I did a video, um, it cut off the beginning. So, anyway, just three books this week. If you're new here, I do comics, books, Currently looking for someone to play video games with and talk and whatever else hits my fancy that day. That's why it's called The Other World According to Bob. Yes, that's the name of the channel, and I'm Bob. So, whatever's in my world. Today, it's Comics. Let's start with the one in my hand because I'm lazy. Feel like making minimal effort. Okay. This is from the Power Punchers Flash. collectible figure. Came with a card. Thank you, Mom. Came with this nice figure. Came with everything. Um. Yeah. But this, this as great as it's supposed to be that McFarlane's doing Flash now, felt like a reprint. The whole book, I had the weirdest feeling, and I have the sneaking suspicion, if I went over my 100-page Giants again, my Walmart 100-page Giants, that's what I'd find. A reprint of like one of those stories. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a fine story, but at the same time, when when the most original idea in this book was the cover, that says something. I can't pay, put my finger on how it feels like a reprint or why, but it does. You should make your stories feel original. Not 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 reprints of what used to be an original idea. Alright. You want up, don't you? Hang on a minute, folks. Okay. Okay. I had to help the dog up. If your story doesn't feel original, well, then you run the risk of losing the reader. I mean, I do want to pick up the Swamp Thing figure, but... And as far as I can see, this was an original idea, because I'm not willing to put in the effort of digging through boxes upon boxes. But if, if it... If it just takes place in the Walmart world, yeah, I don't know. As cool as I thought the Walmart world is, it's, they don't make an effort to tell you what, what earth this takes place on, why he even has a new suit. They leave it at kind of a cliffhanger, 
I'm not going to ruin the book for you. But they do. But they, they don't make it necessary. You have to pick up the next, next issue, which is nice. But at the same time, I'd like to know, are they, like, planning a huge crossover? Or, or better yet, why, does, why is Captain Cold in the new get-up? They really don't say. They don't explain the new cover. It just looks cool. A lot of pizzazz, no substance. I'll give it a three. Because I kind of did like the story. But at the same time, I would like the major questions answered. Okay. Speaking of a book that answers major questions, um, it's Miracle Man. I referenced this in my last review. I said that this was a definite one of those definite stories that. I wanted to pick up because I wanted to find out about the potential because Miracle Man had achieved world peace from what I heard and apparently what do you do when when you achieve world peace you go to the Legion of Superheroes. They're not the Legion of Superheroes, but they might as well be. They felt like a very Marvelized version of the Legion of Superheroes. The kids that open up this book. And I hope that I hope the Kid Miracle Man doesn't do anything foolish, by which I mean, like, kill himself or whatever. I, I don't think that needs to be glorified, but you do get the point that, that this world, the world he wakes up in, the world that Miracle Man has achieved with that world peace doesn't need heroes anymore. And they they just dress up and serve him and do whatever he wants to do. Basically for fun is what I gathered. Um and he told poor kid Miracle Man that, that, oh, his life's a lie, basically. And it's like, just, I hope, like I said, I hope that's not the route they're going with him. <laughs> I hope that they tie it in with Issue Zero. I hope Issue Zero wasn't like a huge waste of time. Remember what I said about Issue Zero. Go back and watch my Issue Zero review if you haven't already. That's what I'd like to see. I'd, I'd like to that to turn out that, that was like from the future or an alternate world or something. Anyway. The book itself gets a... Let's give it a four and three quarters. Not exactly a half, but not not exactly a full. Anyway, let's start digging into the half numbers. I don't want to 
I don't want to give it a full five because it stops right as as you find out what I want to find out what's going to happen to Kid Miracle Man. Which going over it with you, I realize that's what good comics do. They stop right when when you want more. But, you know, it's what it is. For it. Possible five. Anyway. On to... Batman Flashpoint Beyond. Number six. Of six. I know... That this ties into the new JSA book, which is what I, I wish I would have done the review right when, when I, um, when we originally finished reading it. Because I told mom, I said, it's going to lead into, to the JSA. And... Sure, sure enough, right as I'm filming this, the, the new Golden Age book has been announced. I haven't read that yet. No spoilers in the comments, please. You can talk about the other two books. Tell me what you think of McFarlane's version of Flash and Miracle Man. I, I would especially like to hear what you think about Miracle Man's ending. But don't talk about this. Not the ending of this, anyway. You can talk about it. any other part in the book, and I, I know that's no fun, because they're in a snow globe, and that's been spoiled for, well, going on a while now. But knowing that spoiler made, made a fight between... Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne, all that more, it made it less confusing for me. I appreciate that, writers. The, that you let it... <laughs> made it clear that... that, um, you let it out, or made it clear that... that their fight is taking place in Rip Hunter's lab. I think someone might remember that he has Starro in there because he says something along the effect of containing the flashpoint in a snow globe is like containing a Typhoon in a jelly jar, which made me th think of Starro again. Starro, the Conqueror, who is sitting somewhere in Rip Hunter's lab, just waiting to be released. Um, <sighs> Rip obviously saves Corky, even if. Even if he doesn't say that in this book, they make they make it like th that Rip has been all over time and knows everything in Batman's view, which you get why. He feels condescended to. But I don't I don't buy that Rip knows everything. Because why let why let stuff like Wave Rider's death or Mr. Mind escaping in the first place or the four crises I've lived through happen. If he could.
or why does he end up losing an eye? Yes, I now think that Blonde Rip Hunter is the same guy as as Wounded Rip Hunter, and, and that also the same guy as Bearded Rip Hunter, but at different points along the timeline. I think Blonde always comes first, because that's the... That's where he was in the original. Blonde is... He somehow saved Corky from the 80s series. And... Saved Bonnie and... And then later he joins the linear man. Anyway... I could do a whole video on that, but I I kind of feel for Batman, but at the same time, you know that that the Time Masters were founded by Booster Gold. Booster Gold. Not the most serious guy in the world. He doesn't show up in this book, by the way. They they don't even reference him. They they reference a lot of characters that disappeared in crisis or never existed and now got written into time. But Booster is not one of them. I like that they're actually writing in these characters again, which is funny because Blonde Rep Hunter, that point in the timeline, at least in my memory, I could be wrong here. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But Blonde Rep Hunter. That point in time has, has always, well, not always, but has been stuck in the crisis since the original crisis back in 85. I, I don't think they ever answered that, why he, but he's back now, and he obviously wants some kind of justice for his fellow forgotten characters. I liked that Rip could carry a book all by himself. I, I really did. And, and Bonnie Baxter got some time, which I like Bonnie. Well, Bonnie should have got more time in the show. But that, again, that's a whole different thing. And Rip does that thing where he knows what's coming. Which is one of the reasons why I loved Rip Hunter's chalkboard back in the day. I would pick up an issue and then then go over it and then I'd I'd talk to the other um people online like after school. It it was really cool. Anyway, um that's how I know that other people have theories about this. My theory is that even if, even if they continued this series this way as Flashpoint Beyond, they never fix that world. Not really. Not unless they had their own monitor. I, 
I like this one, but again, I'll give it a... Didn't have the monitor, didn't have a lot of things. So I'll give it a 4. It's not perfect. Nothing, hardly nothing ever is. But... What do you think? Am I wrong? Am I right? Like, you gotta tell me these things. Like, comment, subscribe. Am I too much of a rip on a nerd for my own shirt? Oh, and nostalgia was cool too, I guess. Mike. I haven't said I haven't said the words yet, so I can add on. My my thought with nostalgia, the character that shows up at the end here of this. Is that is she Lady True from from the TV show? Or is she like I don't know completely new and different where's looking glass anyway that's my thoughts on the world that it shows up at the end here I don't want to spoil what that world is, in case you haven't read it, or if you're picking up the, the the new Golden Age book, first, but yeah, that world, Hopefully I don't get copyright strike on that world. Is one me and an old friend used to talk about. Or a man I used to call a friend. But, um, yeah. Do I think that nostalgia belongs in that world? Yeah, kind of. As I was saying, maybe a four. And I seriously want to know what you think. You got to tell me what, what you think, or else I'll never know. Or else it will just be me, here. Like, comment. I've, I've given you like, four different things to talk about. Miracle Man, Flash, McFarland's run on the Flash. That, that could have been the theme for this week. Questions. Um, and with that, I've been Bob. Bob out. I can't answer the questions. You, you answer the questions. You answer the questions.